Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do Tech and Coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Um, and, uh, yeah, I do all the hacker rank and leak code problems. I just made this video, and I made the most minor error, so I had to redo the whole video. It's called, this is called Java 2 or do we, there's another one. Uh, there, this is called Java 2D Array. It's part of the Java series on hacker rank. You're given a 6x6 six six 2D array, an hourglass is an array portion shaped like this. It's shaped like an hourglass, three on the top, one in the middle, three at the bottom. We're also given a 6x6 six six grid. A 2D array is just a grid. It has rows and columns um, instead of just a, one array, which would look more like this. Um, yeah, rows and columns. So to loop through, you have to loop through the rows, column by column. Um, actually, there's many hourglasses in the array below above so right here we can see there's an hourglass of ones so there's also a few other hourglasses here because you can move through so this would be a different hourglass these three values these three values and then the middle values and then it tells you that a sum of an hourglass is the sum of all the numbers within it so right here we see there's seven ones that's seven values seven times one is one seven um, and then we have four ones that's four and then two ones, that's two. Good math right there. Um, there's six lines, six integers. Each integer will be between negative, be between negative nine and nine inclusive. So we're, we, what we want to do is print the maximum hourglass sum out of all of the values here, right? So if we're looking right here, we're probably going to want to grab an hourglass with some fours in it because those are big values, right? So maybe right here, these these three values, these three values, or maybe. No, right here. For these three values, these three values, and this middle value. That looks like the biggest one. Um, and yep, there it is. Uh, so what we have to do is just have our hourglass move over row by row and then move down when it gets to the end of the row. So this would be our first one, second one, third one, and then all the way up we're going to the index of 0, 1, 2, 3. So we're going to the third index in both the rows and columns, and then you can't go any farther because if we went any farther, it would be out of bounds row-wise and column-wise. So that's pretty much it. We're just going to initialize our max sum right now. Uh, so max hourglass sum will initialize to negative 63 because the values can only be as low as negative 9. So the lowest possible value is going to be 7 times 9 for the 7 elements. So just negative 63 is, we usually do, you initialize your maxes as min, so we're, we only have to go to negative 63 though. Uh, and then just like I said, we're just looping to th less than or equal to three. Um, and then we're looping to, you know, less than or equal to three, like I said, once again. Um, and then you just calculate a current sum. So we'll do current sum is equal to, and then how do we grab these values as we loop through? Well. Let's say arbitrarily i and j are at any position, but let's say they're at 0, 0 right now. Then we'd want to get, you know, row 0, column 0 for the first element, row 0, column 1 for the second, row 0, column 2 for the third. And then we want the middle value, so we're going to do row 1, column 1. And then we're going to do row 2, column 0, row 2, column 1, row 2, column 2. So it's basically like that as we loop through, and the hour class will continue moving that's what our for loops help us do here. So like I just explained, we're going to do array of i of j, the initial point, plus array of i of j plus 1, the next, the first column, first row, second column, sorry, uh, plus array of i of first row, column 2. And you get the rest. You get the gist. I don't have to say it every time. So we're doing plus 1, j plus 1, um, and then i plus 2. And then JIT, column zero. A lot of typing errors right here. Array of I plus two of, sorry, gosh, I'm having a tough time. J, J plus one, and then array of I plus two, uh, J plus two. Right, so that will be the current sum. And then we just have our last condition here. If current sum is greater than the max, then we just update the max. That's pretty similar to problems that you guys have probably already seen by now. Um, is equal to current sum. Now we have the max hourglass sum because we just generate the current sum of every hourglass in the 6x6 array. We get the maximum and then we have to print it. So we're just going to do print max hourglass sum and that's it. That was the whole problem. 
It's really easy to do when you know the dimensions of the grid that you're working in. So I would recommend checking out the leak code version that we did already. I did a leak code version and it's actually arbitrary width and height of the uh, grid that we're given. And I think I explained it a little better there. So maybe check that out. But uh, either way, thank you guys for watching. Check out my next Java video. I'm doing all of them. So, all right. Thanks. See you guys.